poppin', it's your boy TJ, welcome back to the channel traders. Today, we are going to be reacting to Biaza, 1.14 million subscribers. Make sure to check them out, link in description if you're not subscribed to them already. And also subscribe to the content, my YouTube channel. We upload two videos every single day on this channel. Absolutely popping out videos, forex videos, trading videos, crypto videos, you name it, we're doing it. So without further ado, we're gonna be reacting to the new upload he just did. And the title is, this could destroy the entire crypto market. Big, big, big video. Let's see what he's got to say. Breaking news. This is exactly like the 2008 housing crisis, except it's happening in our very own metaverse. Today, we're going to talk about the metaverse. We're like a year into this whole meta thing, and we're already experiencing what might be our very first loan crisis. Who would have thought? Not me. Which really sucks for the people who are going to lose money. But when everything comes crashing down, it's also when the best buying opportunities are. It's when the most wealth is created. And we might be just weeks out from an absolute unit of an NFT market crash as well as a ridiculous buying opportunity gentlemen so check it out so when the stock market crashes all the small low market cap risky stocks and companies are the first to get wiped out roblox and face clan stock is going to get wiped out before walmart and amazon it makes sense right in recession people don't want to be as risky with their money so they all right so obviously yo this is because i believe it could be because of all the wars that's going on you know with china taiwan Ukraine and Russia, like, it's crazy, and, uh, yeah, I think there's gonna be a global crisis, so let's see what he's got to say. They move it from risky companies to more established ones. Well, in the JPEG world, all the smaller NFT projects have been pretty much wiped out completely already. And trust me, I know what you're thinking, there's no way projects like Dink Doink could ever possibly crash. Surely, trusted, world-renowned rapper oh, 6 9 wouldn't pitch us a project that would go down in price. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But I feel like we all knew those money grab projects were bound to crash. There's oh no, oh no. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible for people like Logan Paul, who like opened up his own marketplace. A bit like eBay, but for NFTs. Um, oh my God, man. This could be this could be devastating for their careers. If, if all of their fans who like bought these NFTs and whatnot... They go, like, they lose all their money? Oh, no. There's no surprise there. But what about the JPEGs that were worth mid six figures a pop? Projects like the Board Ape Yacht Club, the most established names in the whole crypto space, surely those aren't going to get hit as bad. Well, that's kind of true, but maybe not for long. They're not down 99% like most projects. At the very peak earlier in April, the floor price for these monkey pictures was 153 Ethereum. Today, oh the floor price days. is 71 Ethereum, which trolls aside around a 50% drop. I was kind of surprised it's managed to hold up that one. Well. For reference, Shopify stock is down 70% for the year, and that's a massive legitimate company. I mean, a product you can use to make millions from home, especially when you combine it with my dropshipping course linked in the description. Come on, down 70%, it doesn't make sense. Now, but these gorilla snapshots only dropping 50% is suspiciously impressive. But upon deeper analysis, I realized that these numbers were slightly deceptive because they're not measured in dollars. They're measured in Ethereum, which also dropped, so that's not- Mate, the board ape. I never- let me know in the comments if you guys bought NFTs or anything like this, but or or invest into crypto. I mean, I had Luna, and yo, we all saw what happened to Luna, man. I have like ten thousand in Bitcoin. That's it. So, if Bitcoin's gonna crash even more, do I pull out? Not really a fair comparison. When you measure it in US dollars, the floor price for what's currently the top NFT project went from around 500k to around 130 grand today. So the real drop in price for now is closer to 70%. But all of that negative price action only brings us today where it might get a whole lot worse. Huge shout out to Cyrus NFT who I first saw posts about this, but here's where things get really dark. People have been <laughs> taking out loans against their NFTs, using these JPEGs as collaterals for loans. Mike Malak famously posted this video where he used one of these lending services to get money for a down payment on his dream house. I would lock my Bored Ape NFT into Arcade's protocol. They would then give me a loan of USD coin against it. I could then convert that USD coin into American dollars to help pay my down payment on my traditional mortgage. They would hold oh, on to wow. my NFT until I was able to repay the loan and then I would get the Ape back. I know this concept sounds like- Oh my days. Wow, I didn't even know that. 
What? A little ridiculous, but in Mike's case, he's a smart individual. He's got money. I'm sure he could have gotten 200 grand elsewhere. That video was a sponsored ad, so he got cashed out. It got people talking about him. A ton of crypto blogs and pages picked it up. So a ton of free publicity for him. End of the day, it was probably a fairly smart move for him, but that's definitely not the case for a ton of other people using these lending services. Taking out a loan against something as volatile as an NFT won't end well for most people. This part's pretty important, so I want to give some more insight on how these lending platforms actually operate specifically inside on one called the bend DAO. if i bought a hypothetical dog picture that's worth 100 eth i can get 30 to 40 percent of the floor value as a loan so in this scenario i give the lending platform my internet dog picture that's worth 100 eth and in return they lend me 30 to 40 eth at about a 15 to 25 percent interest rate sign me up <laughs> but here's the catch if you will if the value of the floor price of my doggy picture drops the lending platform will have to liquidate it they'll have to sell it auction it off in order to recoup some of the money that they lent me. in our example if the floor price of the dog nft dropped to 44 eth it would automatically be sent to an auction where it would be sold to the highest bidder this bendow actually assigns a health score to the nfts they have in their possession if the health score gets to 1.2 you're getting really close to that point where it's going to get liquidated and sold at an auction that is if the floor price of your nft keeps dropping currently there are 45 bored apes on this land no so basically what he's saying is that for the people that have borrowed uh you know use these services and borrowed money if it keeps dropping they're just gonna offload loads and i think what he's trying to say is that loads of people have done this therefore this company is just gonna be selling out which could be loads of board apes loads of nfts oh my god could you imagine if they like sold everything they had all these companies because of the liquidity lending platform alone that are in the danger zone which means they are very close to the point where they're going to get liquidated i mean look at all these apes hanging on by a thread before they go off to auction okay. there's just pages of them and here's the really really scary part so here's a graph of lending volume on this bend down platform and i'm sure the volume looks very similar to other nft lending services as well there's this massive spike in april and a majority of all of this lending activity 85 percent according to cyrus was loans taking out against board ape yacht club and muted apes specifically Specifically. Now, if we compare that to the floor price graph from earlier, that's when the floor price of Board Ape Yacht Club was around the peak of 150 Ethereum. Things are not looking good right now. There's only 45 apes currently at risk on this platform, but 2.8% of all Board Apes in existence are in possession of this Ben Dow platform alone. And if the floor price keeps dipping, those are all potentially subject to liquidation. So, like, all these people that have bought these NFTs. The rich could necessarily could basically hear this out, right? They could keep crashing the market so they all go out for sale and then bid, try and get them cheaper. So like if the market crashes, these people are gonna lose all their money. The people who pulled out or you know have got a lot of money are about to make a, sh a load more money because after the crisis, prices will probably go up a bit, you know. The first few of these board ape liquidation really auctions started taking place this week. Yeah. It just really doesn't seem like 14 ETH. 14 ETH. Like there's enough. He said like it sold for like 145 ETH once. Bidding now on 14. People looking to buy up these high-priced NFTs to sustain this amount of liquidation. Unless the people who put up these apes as collaterals and took out loans against them pay back the loans in bulk sums right now a lot of these apes are going to be up for auction and with not that many people there right now ready to pay a bunch of money for these apes that price could come spiraling down and it could really form this nft death spiral where more nfts go on auction get sold lower the floor price which causes more nfts to get liquidated since again that floor price Mate. just drops and this can save your money boys there's an opportunity until the floor price completely decimates OpenSea, the largest nft exchange is seeing its lowest volume days in over a year so again they're really aren't that many people ready to buy up these nfts and to make it worse the numbers that i got from cyrus's thread are for the ben dow alone there's other lending platforms out there also holding on to these bored apes in their possession so the real number for potential liquidations is much higher and the board ape yacht club is currently the biggest project in the nft space so what kind of ripple effect would that have on all the other projects and these lending websites aren't taking on just bored apes as collateral they're taking on a lot of the top projects so those could have I the same fate as board apes i've been waking up and hating on nfts since september of last year during my eyebrow slit phase i think nfts are stupid i'm sorry but they're i did a whole diss track on nfts five months ago during my buzz cut phase where i explained why i think nfts would go down back then i will not have sons 
who are too busy buying NFTs. Just a mask. Sure, part of that deep hatred might be coming from me feeling dumb for not accepting millions of dollars of NFT rug pull sponsorship inquiries on my email, but I might put all that behind me and buy into the NFT space as a very risky speculative play if this loan crisis plays out in a way that completely- You have to, you have to take risks to get reward. If it crashes, When's the best time, man? It decimates the market. Which it might, but see, I, I don't know. The board price already went from 500 grand to 100 grand. Already an absolutely nasty draw. But it's like with 100 grand, would you rather spend that on a 20% down payment for a half a million dollar rental property or online monkey picture? Even if tomorrow the floor price goes down another 80% of what it's already went down to 20 grand, just still don't see why a board ape should be worth more than a Bitcoin. Would you rather have an E46 M3 you can spin right now or a 20 grand online gorilla picture, which you can't even really use to flex as a profile picture anymore because I'm sorry, but at this point, NFT profile pictures are a little corny. We are potentially on the verge of a massive NFT crisis that could be months out could... weeks out days out maybe somehow the crisis gets averted i don't know but the reason that you should care about this even if you don't really care about nfts is one it maybe will be a good buying opportunity but two if this crisis does happen and nfts completely spiral down what does it mean for the whole crypto market yeah. nfts are one of the biggest use cases for ethereum which i think is the second biggest cryptocurrency right now if yeah. nfts have a negative impact on ethereum ethereum is big enough to have a 100%. negative impact on the whole crypto market there could be a pretty nasty domino effect here but but I'm definitely speculating. I don't know the Man, future. Imagine if Ethereum just like drops hard because of this. And it will if people are selling off. I know that they're buying in Ethereum. But technically, money's being lost. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm probably not going to be selling any of my Ethereum because of this. But it's definitely slightly concerning. Very interesting. And I'm curious to hear what your guys' thoughts on all of this are. Hope you enjoyed this video and have an amazing rest of your day. Peace. Make sure to go subscribe. Link is down below in the in the description for by Hingza. I think that's how I pr he pronounced his name. If it's not, I do apologize. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.